Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first method. The first method involves my favorite method, substitution. So, let's go ahead and do the following. We're going to be calling the first radical, which is the square root of 5 plus root 2, A. And the second radical, we're going to call that B. You can use other variables, uh, variables as well, doesn't really matter. From here, we do get the following. A squared becomes 5 plus root 2, and B squared becomes 5 minus root 2. Great. Now, one thing I want you to notice about this expression is that 5 is greater than root 2, therefore this is a real number, and the sum of two radicals in the real world is always going to be greater than or equal to 0. So we know that this is a positive quantity. Obviously it can't be 0, we know that, but we know it's positive. Okay. Now we have a squared and b squared. Now if you go ahead and add these up, we get something nice. a squared plus b squared becomes 10. The square root of 2 cancels out. That's something that we are going to be using later on. Alright, let's go ahead and keep that for now. Now, what we want to do is get another equation in terms of a and b and then solve that as a system. And to get that, I'm going to take advantage of the two conjugates. These are conjugate expressions, a and b, so I'm going to multiply them. Why not, right? If you multiply a and b, you're going to get the square root of 5 squared, which is 25, minus root 2 squared, which is 2. So here, I'm using the difference of two squares formula, which is x plus y multiplied by x minus y equals x squared minus y squared. Great. So ab becomes square root of 23. That's another equation that I would like to use. So I have now two equations. I can make this a system. How do I solve the system? It's quadratic. Let's go ahead and consider a plus b and square it. If you square a plus b, then you would get a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. You could also write it uh, 2ab in the middle, but I like this version better. Now, a squared plus b squared is 10 from this equation. So this is equal to 10. And ab is equal to square root of 23. Therefore, we get the following. a plus b quantity squared equals 10 plus 2 root 23. Now, my goal is to find a plus b, remember? And we know that a plus b is positive, and we got a plus b squared. So we can square root both sides, considering the positive square root of this expression. And from here, we get the answer as square root of 10 plus 2 root, I mean 10 plus 2 square root of 23. That's my first method. Let's go ahead and proceed with the second method. Now the second method, again, we're trying to evaluate this expression. Square root of 5 plus root 2 plus the square root of 5 minus root 2. Since we're trying to evaluate it and we don't know what it is, let's call it x. Okay, x is unknown. Now, again, x is positive here. Let's remember that all the time. And we're going to square both sides. Okay, let's do it. So when we square both sides, we get the following. Again, from the formula a plus b quantity squared, we're going to get a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, which is 2 times the square root of 25 minus 2. So this method is somewhat similar to the first one. Hopefully you've seen the relationship, but it's a little different. So here it's more direct. Okay, square root of 2 cancels out, and we end up with the following. x squared equals 10 plus 2 root 23, just like before. And from here, remember, our goal is to solve for x, because that's what we're looking for. And x just becomes the square root of this expression. Therefore, the answer is the square root of 10 plus square root of 10 plus 2 times square root of 23. Okay, whatever you see is going to be the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.